Dobrý večer, priatelia. Vítajte na prvom večeri. Good evening, dear friends. I would like to welcome you to the first evening of the Central European Forum 2018. I have the pleasure to welcome Miklos Harasti tonight. Uh, but um, he sends, you, sends us uh, his best greetings. He has not been able... Well, anyway, Mr. Schwarzenegger was not able to come, but Mr. Harasti is here with us today. He is also one of the symbols, one of the pillars of the Central European Forum. Thank you so much for having me here, and not for the first time um, I have been guest of this meeting uh, several times uh, in the last years. It was a great occasion every time to exchange views about the state of our joint Central Europe more specifically about the state of democracy, state of progress in the four countries of Central Europe, in the so-called Visegrad Four. It is a meeting on the intellectual level, um, not immediately on the political level, and therefore it gives always, and this time it will also um, give f food for your soul and for your mind as well. And I would like to contribute to this with a very short concept of the second kidnapping of Central Europe. Milan Kundera once introduced this concept. It was the kidnapping by foreign occupiers. It was kidnapping by world politics. It was kidnapping by the Yalta conundrum, a many decades long um, um, time when Central Europe was more or less forgotten by the West as, and devoured by the East. Uh, the classic tripartite um, layering of Europe, West, Central Europe, and East, disappeared for a, for a dual nature of Europe. The original was a layer of Europe, Western Europe, where democracy was 200 years old, Central Europe, where democracy was 100 years old. I'm talking about the time of the Cold War. And uh, there was the East, where democracy, democratic traditions were quite short-lived, as short-lived as three months, for example, in Russia, between um, the um, falling of the Tsar and the falling of the short-lived democracy under onslaught of the Bolshevik party. This disappeared, and the Central Europe, its society, its relative achievements, its traditions have disappeared under the spell of the occupation by um, the Bolshevik party's um, legacy. We Central Europeans, as Kundera's essay, uh, heralded it, but didn't have any hopes at that time that it will end. We fought for it. We rediscovered Central Europe. We rediscovered its traditions. It was a fantastic um, rediscovery, cultural rediscovery as well, because we saw that our communism is not communism like that of the East. After what happened in Czechoslovakia in 68, after what happened in Hungary and Poland in 1956, it was a, an occupational uh, communism that came back on the, on, the, on, the, on the back of Russian tanks. 
So it was a weakened legitima legitimacy of communism. And we have discovered freedom of speech in a Samizdat movement, in a free speech movement, which made our public life truly different from both of that of the East and both of that of, and of the West. And then we won. Came 89, came the victorious um, march of democracy. Of course, the weakening of the East, of the, of the legacy of Bolshevism, also contributed to that victory, but we did it on our own. And as we just talked about a moment ago, right now we are in a period when our democracies have to fight for their survival in a very different setting. It is inside the loss of democracy on a, in a seemingly democratic way and procedurally certainly in a democratic way. It is absolutely novel, unexperienced by the, these nations who are accustomed to fight for their democracy, for their freedom to liberate it from foreign occupiers and from gauleiters and, and local quislings of foreign occupiers. And the fact that we victoriously won that fight back then, almost 30 years, almost 30 years ago, is not a guarantee that we can win this second fight. And here is my second point. Unfortunately, what is happening at the initiative of Viktor Orban of Hungary um, is attempted to be secured, this loss of democracy from inside, is attempted to be secured with the help of an international cooperation by kidnapping of the original project of the Visegrad Four. Mr. Kushi, at a previous Central European Forum, said very aptly that the original Visegrad Four project was exactly the opposite of what is happening right now. The Visegrad Four project was an acceleration of the final unification of Europe. It was a project to secure democratic progress. It was to join up with the help of cooperation of these four countries as quickly as possible. And what we see today is the attempt to create out of Visegrad for an island of resistance to that unification of Europe. What we see is an attempt to try to make out of Central Europe an island of xenophobia, of nationalism, of perpetuation, of illegitimate perpetuation of power by kidnapping the uh, independence of the courts, by kidnapping um, uh, the uh, fairness and freedom of elections, by um, diverting the transparency of public monies, and um, they try to forge out of Visegrad for a fake solidarity of these attempts, of these illiberal attempts. Visegrad four and many, unfortunately, leading political forces in today's Visegrad four are trying to learn from the East and not anymore from um, um, ripe old democracies. Is this fight bad news? Yes, it is bad news. But here is a point of good news about it. I believe that a Western quality of democracy is coming exactly from such fights. You can call quality of democracy Western or established if a democracy has gone through this very fight, realizing that freedom can be lost from inside, realizing that 
Uh, nobody can help from outside. You have to go through this crisis. You have to go down in this crisis and fight it on your own. And when you have done it, when you are done with this fight, then it is memorialized in the tradition of your culture that bad experience that you can lose democracy from inside and the good experience that you can win that fight. Will it last forever? No. Every democracy has to go through such crises again and again, but with an immunity that the initial fight and the win of this initial fight has given to you. So I believe that this forum, uh, the exchange of views at this forum will contribute to this, even if on the cultural and um, um, uh, intellectual level. But we need that. We need the recognition of this crisis. We need to see the good in it, the possibility to make our four democracies ripe, um, self-conscious, uh, standing on its own, continuing on its own, and being more secure than it has been 30 years ago when we somewhat naively believed that um, history is over, history is ending, and the final unification of Europe is imminent. It is not. Powerful forces are against it. So let ourselves be a powerful resistance to the second kidnapping of Central Europe. Thank you very much.